Flight controller is going to go for landing. Retro. Go. Rhino. Go. Guidance. Go. Patrol. Go. Delcom. Go. GSC. Go. Econ. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Hello guys, Terra Firma here, and I'm going to be doing a bit of a series in sandbox mode of Kerbal Space Program. I want to kind of realistically go to Duna, like how we would go to Mars. Um, so I'm going to be just kind of messing around and trying to get my skills and just everything together to be able to get there and get back with a couple of Kerbals, which I've never done before. So uh, this is just kind of be a reoccurring series where I'm going to try and just do stuff in real as realistically as possible so I think one of the first things I'm gonna do is send a, a probe into polar orbit of Kerbin to just kinda simulate like just kind of exploring our surroundings and stuff so I'll see you when I finish making the probe so this spacecraft I've built here is going to be completely overbuilt for the job I've put it in, which is to go into a polar orbit and collect scientific data. So it could actually probably even make it to the moon if I was a very good player, but I'm not the best, so I just generally overbuild things. So we got a small, we got the probe, we've got all the scientific instruments and the rocket that'll get us up there. Now, I will warn you, there is going to be a lot of background noise if you haven't heard already. My um, family's home, my sisters are kind of loud. One of my sister has uh, her friend over, so you'll hear him in the background. So, so just watch the rest of my um, me building this craft, and I'll see you when I finish. Okay guys, we have the Polar Orbiter 1. I don't think I was clear enough in the beginning on telling what I wanted to do for this series. I want to be making, like I'm gonna probably, I want to make a base on the moon to refuel ships and just kind of explore generally any, everywhere, including Duna. But my official goal is to get to Duna and back with at least three Kerbals, which I've never done before in Kerbal Space Program. So this is just gonna be kind of what I normally do in Kerbal Space Program, just set a goal in Sandbox and get to it but I wanted to make a series on something and I've been desperately trying for quite a while to get a series out so here we go here's our polar orbiter and I, I this thing's just so annoying to put on craft you just can't you can't get it inside of a fairing you just kinda have to leave it out there like that and try and balance it the best you can so this might have a hard time controlling if it fails I'll have to redo the whole launch again so okay let's turn on the SAS put the throttle to full and launch and we just barely get off the launch pad and I think that's a good thing because that allows us to uh, to um, save as much fuel as possible going up this is I'm probably gonna cut it to where this is the first launch but the first launch these boosters broke off my little engine there so that was not good so I'm going to pitch it back to about 10 degrees because I'm at the correct surface velocity for that which is about 100. I'm having a bit of trouble fighting the aerodynamics on that I was expecting that. Let's hope this separates cleanly this time we're getting close to solid fuel running out we're going to be putting her in a polar orbit which will take a little bit more fuel than putting it in a larger orbit. Okay there's separation and beautiful that was a little overpowered but it worked. So I need to just adjust my nav ball a bit so I can get on the center line. And I should be around, and uh, we're getting a weird oscillation. I should be right around there at 10, um, yeah, 10,000 meters. So we are good. Uh, it's just we are having a bit of problems with our prograde vector not being in the correct place. But I do believe we will live through that and if it's all uneventful I'll skip ahead till we're in orbit.
Okay, so after a lot of fighting with the um, maneuvering of this big rocket, I have um, gotten the Apoaps, which is this point right there, to the place I want, and I'm going to coast to Apoaps and then burn prograde to circularize my orbit. This isn't the most efficient way to do it at the moment. I should be burning directly laterally and moving this right where I am now, but it's the easiest way and I have way too much fuel in this so I'll see you when I get there. I'm also going to decouple this because this tank is basically dead and then we'll be running off of our other one which I will select and turn on right now. Okay so there's a little burn to get us away from that and I will point prograde and wait until my prograde vector is directly on the horizon and then Okay, I'm going to start my orbital insertion burn. Now, usually you can do this with your uh, maneuver node system, but I played this a little. I played this long enough that I can do it without using that. And as I say that, I'm probably going to mess up very badly and not be able to make orbit. Now, this engine I'm using is the um, REL10, the Poodle liquid engine. It's very efficient in space, but doesn't give you a lot of. Um, like it doesn't give you a lot of speed honestly it's efficient just doesn't give you the speed or thrusting so yeah we're uh it's gonna be an interesting ride I can easily fix the um to keep it orbital to get it into a polar orbit it's not quite so I can actually fix that now but well, whatever I'll live now I am starting to drop down which I don't like so I'm going to burn up just a little bit to keep my to keep me moving upwards so I, this could definitely make it into orbit how good of an orbit it can make uh, that's another story okay here I'm going to try and correct for everything else oh and we have a peri app so that's a good thing and we have a app webs of 150 and a peri apps of 100 now that that's actually pretty good. I, I might just leave that there, but honestly, I'm a little OCD for this, so I'm going to uh, do a maneuver node at Apoaps. So now I'm in orbit, So, and I have way too much fuel. I thought I'd need to use this little thing for course correction, but I overbuild my rockets all the time just because I'm not the best of a KSB player. So now I just need to adjust until I'm in the right place. Okay, so I'm just adjusting these points are where I'd be burning on the nav ball. So I'm adjusting them until I get the right place. So I just, and then I also have to adjust other points in order to keep it, as I said before, in the right place. Now we got 100 and like 105. So that is pretty perfect polar orbit. So I'm going to go to maneuver and a pardon for uh, pardon for uh, any of the background noises because um, my family's home and they're a bit loud so then now I can also click warp to next maneuver and I will shoot over into the next maneuver so it's only a 26 second burn but it's got a bit of delta V in delta V is like meters per second so 455 meters per second is how much fuel I have to burn not ri that's it's not like in tonnage it's in delta V so that's just the medium in which it's um, conveyed scientifically if that makes any sense which I doubt it did so we have a 26 second burn of 455 meters per second and the node starts in 45 seconds now usually you start when the node hits zero but I'm just going to time accelerate until we get just about close and then I might just hit it here and it'll get me close enough I hate being in the map mode while I'm making burns so I usually go out and we have a major lag spike there for some reason so we our maneuver node is we're burning quite nicely we're burning um, I don't know well it's I think let me check it hold on there's a specific term we I was burning. It was 
let me just it's oh, I don't whatever this vector is I don't quite remember it's me that's not radial that's radial that's anti -ra I don't know honestly I'm probably messing all my terminology up I am not as I said before the greatest player but now we can unfurl all of our solar panels this is a solar paneled craft so solar powered sorry with solar panels and I could have put radiothermal generators which use a kind of um, they use radiation to um, create heat which powers the craft so I just need to get this thing oriented properly I need to get it oriented towards the sun so that I get the maximum uh, deflection on our panels so that's pretty close because I need all the power I can get to run these scanners this is a narrow band scanner it does ore for the surface I don't particularly need it but I want it and this is the other scanner which will show me everything about being over about everything on the planet so perform the or orbital survey and then our electricity should yeah it's going their electric power is going straight through the floor let's just hope it gets to 100 percent okay there we go and now we have we have um, kind of a picture of the ore distribution so as you can see there is no ore there but there's a lot of ore there so this is just kind of a practice on what we'll be doing on the moon and on Duna in order to figure out where we want to land to build a base on both bodies so that's our first launch of the series I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'm Terra Firma and I'll see you in the next episode Go for landing.